Yes, no, no. yes, yes, yes. Okay, I, I actually wanted to say something on digital currency. And uh, I don't know how, how much economics you know, uh, but um, currency represents two primary things. It's a medium of exchange and it's a store of value. Okay. So any currency is a medium. I give you so that then you give me something. But what is it in the first place? It is something which has been produced, value. Okay. So when you talk about Bitcoin, what is it storing? What value is it storing? Because government is the custodian to regulate how much value has been given. That's why they issue currency, because it represents an output. You know, when you calculate GDP, gross domestic product, you calculate it from an output. What has been produced, you know, in a year. And then now, the central bank represents that output in currency. So when you talk about Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, what is it representing? You know, people use it as a medium of exchange, so it fulfills one condition, but what is the value that is representing? It is nothing. So, my advice to you, don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> Cryptocurrency is hot hair. It's a Ponzi scheme. And you know how it ends. It always ends in tears. Thank you. Uh, Arnold, Arno, Arnold seems like um, he wants to step out and cry, kiddo. You want to buy a cryptocurrency? You okay? Uh, thank you. Uh, Monica and Sheila, I hope you've picked an idea or two from uh, Arnold's questions as far as market linkages are concerned. Because when Mr. Kasuku spoke, he mentioned something about um, information, awareness to the farmers, and I believe that falls very well in your docket. Yeah, I, th I think it's, it's fantastic, and that's why forums like this are important for us at Nation Media Group, because then we see opportunities for collaboration. I think one of our biggest platforms as of now is nation.africa, where you can get so much information, and we are looking to grow into facilitating that kind of information that allows people to be able to know where the goods are, where do you, can you get information about your health, about agriculture, about prices, about all those kind of things. And with that, the access becomes very easy. You can no longer say that I couldn't get in front of my TV or I couldn't get an, a newspaper. You find nation.africa available across all of Africa, and it sits as a platform that allows us, again, remember when I spoke about us being linear and non-linear, it allows us to run multiple platforms that enable us to meet various people at their points of need, wherever they are. Not when we want to meet them, but wherever they are and when we can meet them. And those are things, if you look across our content, across all our platforms, that we are every day seeking to collaborate with people to provide information. And this information is no longer just about Dr. Kingori making all of us laugh. It's allowing that person who has produce, that person who not only has produce, so not only at the point at which they have a product, but at the point at which they have an idea or they have an issue they think they would like to solve. So we are providing them with information to be able to determine, okay, how do I understand what soil testing is all about? Why do I need to soil test? So if it is in agriculture, why do I need to ensure that I understand where can I sell my produce? So we are not just allowing them to have information at the end. We are walking with them the journey from providing them information from even when it is a crazy idea. They can watch us, they can read us, they can reach out to us across our platforms and they will find pockets of information. Now where we may not be able to serve their full need, that's when we talk about collaboration.